As most of you would be aware, we talk about direction in terms of four points. North, east, south and west. We refer to these as the cardinal points. We can be even more accurate direction with direction by talking about the, the spaces between these cardinal points. Northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. We can be even more accurate again by using what we call a 16 point compass rose and talking about the spaces in between those given points. North, northeast, east, east, northeast, east, southeast, south, south, east, etc, etc. This is a very useful way of designating 16 different direction points. But a problem arises when we're talking about direction in between one of these. Would we have to then talk about south, south, east, south, east, or west, west, north, west, north? We end up with a huge array of letters, which would be confusing and time consuming to decipher. So instead, we use a different system. We use what we call bearings. And bearings are set out along a circle, which as we know is made up of 360 degrees. So north becomes zero degrees, east becomes 90, south becomes 180, Sorry, that's cut off, and west becomes 270. Finally, we return to 360 degrees at north. Equally, all the other points on this, in the compass have, have a number 2. 45, 135, 225, 315. And the same thing for the 16-point compass rows as well. Now, this allows us to be very accurate about direction. So now when we run a line between two points, we can specify exactly where it is, in this case 52 degrees. Or if we run a line between here, we say it can be 193 degrees. Or here again, we can say 260 degrees, being very specific about the direction that we're talking. Let's work an example. Two points, A and B. The question says, what is the bearing of B from A? This means from A, we're leaving A and travelling towards B. Be very mindful of that, students get that confused. Leaving A, A from B, leaving A travelling to B. What we do is we place our bearings over the top and it's a very simple matter of knowing that this is zero, we come around and this would therefore be 60 degrees. Let's make it slightly more difficult. Let's talk about these points, X, Y and Z. Here are the questions. The first question asks us, why from Z? So we're leaving Z and travelling to Y. We place the bearing again and we line it up and 300, it's going to be 310 degrees. The next question, Y from X, leaving X travelling towards Y. We place the bearings again, we track it around 30, 40, 45 degrees is exactly the bearing distance. Let's try the next one. Z from X, so we're leaving X travelling to Z. Line those two things up, it's going to be 115 degrees. It's all rather simple. I want you to test your knowledge now on this map and with these questions. If you can complete these, that's all you need to understand about bearings. It is very, very simple. Best of luck with it.